All right, all tonight I'm going to update the version, uh, or the software version on my 2022 Volkswagen Golf R infotainment. So I've done this once before going from version, uh, I think it might've been 1880 or 1886, something like that to 1941. Um, I used some instructions online to figure it out. So this time I grabbed the files for 1969 and this time i'm going to show you how to do all of this um so i pull up this information from within this uh system settings you go to system information and then you can see your hardware and software currently on your device so what i did is i put the software on a usb drive got a little adapter go to usb c and i'm going to plug this in and we'll go through it. I'll post up um, a link of where I got the information from. Uh, whenever you do click on a link, I believe uh, the username is guest and the password is guest. And then it should hopefully open you up to the folder. And I'll put down in the description the name of the file you need to download. So it does take some time to download it from the internet. Uh, I think it took my computer about 30 minutes. And then you need to unzip it and throw it on the flash drive. Um, I'll post up a little bit more of that in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and put my flash drive in one of these USB ports down on the bottom. And I'm going to come over here and hold this square. And then there's going to be an option for software update versions. Click on that and say start update. And what this is going to do is um, reboot the radio into, um, I guess, an engineering mode. And the menu is going to look a little different, uh, quite a bit different. And we can go ahead and search for this USB drive and run the update. So here we go. This is what it looks like. And what we're going to do is select the first option for update. And you can see my USB drive plugged into USB 1. It's the brighter of the two, so I'm going to select that. And then it's going to go through some stuff. All right, so there's the files of what is on my drive. I'm going to go ahead and just click Start Update. And it's going to give you a message saying update must not be canceled under any circumstances. I'm going to go ahead and start update. Say looking for device. And now it's going to go through every single one of those files. There is like a load percentage on the right. Um, for now, because this will take about 15 to 20 minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, leave the car for a little bit. One thing you do not want to do is have the car engine running during this update. I'm not sure why, but if uh, some people are saying not to do that, I will play it safe and not do that. Um, so anyway, let's see what this looks like uh, when I come back. All right, so that took pretty much exactly 15 minutes. Um, this is what it'll look like when everything is done. You have all the updates that say okay, the ones that had to be updated. Um, there were five of them. There's the five OKs. And so now we just have resume as long as everything was done successfully. And now it's going to reboot and out of the engineering mode and back into the regular interface that you're used to seeing um, after it does this. We will get back into the settings and make sure that our update was done successfully. So back in the settings, we'll go ahead and go back to system information. And there we are. Software version 1969. Okay, so one thing I noticed right off the bat is just going through the menu here. The graphics are so much quicker. This used to lag, even going between menus. Everything just happens so much faster. Things are much more snappy. They're very much improved. 
So I'm already liking this update. It's the day after doing the update. And one thing I do want to clarify, uh, because I have seen some concerns uh, on the internets. Um, this update, when you do it, will not affect any kind of OBD11 um, coding that you have done on your system. Like, my car is a, a 2022, and I retrofitted the folding mirrors on it. So if I come over here, go to my mirrors, you can still see that I have the fold in when locking. And if we come over here, I can go ahead and still fold in my mirrors. None of that went away. Um, also, uh, being able to get into some of the settings while the car is moving, um, I had coded that as well. Um, and that has also not gone away. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining in and I will see you on my next Market Golf R project.